Blight of Nights tutorial. The first, um, the chord sequence in Blind of Nights is essentially four chords that are repeated over. First chord is D minor. That's a D, F and an A played together. And you can play it with a D in the left hand. Then we move it all down to A at the bottom, an A minor chord. That's an A, C and an E together with an A in the bottom. Then it's a C chord. C at the bottom, C, E and G. And then to a G chord, so we keep our hands the same. G at the bottom, G, B, D. And essentially you're playing that chord sequence all the way through, holding them for a quick eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Repeat. That happens throughout the song. Apart from when you get to the line just before the chorus, it says, I can't see clearly when you're gone. On the word gone, you're expecting a G chord, but you don't play it, okay? Because that's the bit that sounds unfinished. So the pre-chorus goes, I look around and sin city's cold and empty. No one's around to judge me. C chord. I can see clearly when you're Nothing on the go oh, oh, on. Okay, so that's the chords for Blinding Nights. If you wanted to, you could put in the riff, and the riff is simply D, D, C, D, E, A, C twice. D, D, C, D, E, A, C. Jump up to the G. G, E, D, C. G, E, D, C, D. Okay. And you might want to put the left hand chords, so you could do. Or you can just do the chords, or you could just do the riff. It's entirely up to you. So have a practice and then play it along with the backing track. Remember, you've got to record with the backing track playing silently in your headphones. Okay then, that's blind and likes the cause.